Hey, what's up, beautiful people? So I'm gonna try to talk really fast because my GoPro battery, that's what I record on. Um, my GoPro battery is about to die, so I'm gonna keep it super sweet, super short. Um, but today was pretty much a fucked up day. Today's Monday, so we did speed squats. And last week I did at 135 with 30 pound chains on each side. Um, and I remember that feeling decent, like it was a challenge, it wasn't super easy. And I'm talking about like an RPE 7, 6, 7, um, but today it just felt like an RPE 8 or 9. It was, it was bad. But somehow I just couldn't get my head in the game and Bart kept telling me like, get your head in the game, get your head in the game. It, you know what it feels like um, for my, my peeps out there that compete or that are familiar with your CNS? It really felt and feels like my CNS is fried, but throughout all my training that I've been sharing with you guys, I haven't done anything that challenged like a one rep max and that I had to like really exert some crazy intense energy for. So I have a fried CNS without really putting in the work. So that's where I'm a little bit confused. Well anyway, um, and then I moved into competition squat three by three. Um, and I'm trying to do like I guess a negative on the way down. I'm trying not to slam it just cause I want to strengthen all those muscles, uh, you know, for my descend with the deadlift. So the point is not to slam your weight down. And it's kind of doing the 24 hour method um, or the, the global gym method where you don't want to slam your weights. And um, they do it because they don't want any noise and they don't want to interrupt the neighbors and get kicked out of where they're renting. But I'm doing it because uh, you want to strengthen all those muscles. So and then strengthening all those muscles then hopefully it's just going to translate into you know a stronger deadlift i'm a 300 plus puller when it comes to deadlift but i can't get anywhere near 225 because of that descend um or that negative when i'm trying to put the weight back down on the floor and trying not to slam it so that's kind of been a challenge but it's kind of okay because it's not like a huge adjustment that i need to make i think i just need to get those muscles stronger and um and in return that'll make my deadlift stronger so um, I'm just kind of working on that and then I moved into pause deadlift so I pull pause right below the knee and then pull it back up uh, to complete the deadlift and that's actually been strengthening my back the most because it forces you to stay in a locked position it forces you to um, keep tight and it forces you to shoot your hips through um, you know just to complete the deadlift even right now it's fucking pissing me off because I have no energy to even talk right now what the fuck? This is annoying and I'm so sorry. I want to give you guys more energy, but I just, I don't know what's happening. I just feel like I'm a robot and I'm talking like this. I don't know. Today was kind of rough, guys. I think I'm being a female about it, but damn, please let me know if you felt what I'm feeling right now. Look at this face and let me know if you felt what this face is feeling. Ready? Then after that, I did some hyper extensions and um, it felt really easy so then he moved up to um, doing the hyper extensions with 65 pounds which is a 10 on each side um, and he's like hey maybe you should try it so I tried it it actually felt pretty decent it felt like it was giving me more of a challenge so I stuck with it and I did that um, and then I closed out my work with a motherfucking sled that I fucking hate but I feel a really awesome burn on my glutamus assistus, maximus assistus, because uh, as soon as I'm done, it feels like there's so much blood in my booty and it feels like I have a bubble butt. So it makes me feel really, really good. So guys, I'm sorry for the shitty fucking attitude I have right now. Um, but damn, I'm giving you all of me. Sometimes it's pretty, sometimes it's annoying like this. So just never forget, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just showing you guys my progress. Until next time, y'all. So this was my last set, 95, and it flew right up. It was absolutely amazing. Because the bar path changed, my you know, my positioning, my back changed, everything changed because I just switched my grip. So I kind of kept that mechanics as Bart was talking about, and 